Good morning, welcome back. What I'm working on today is these shear walls. I'm gonna go ahead and put my OSB up. I had to temporarily take the top plate off this one wall so that we could get the beams in. And now that it's time to put the OSB in, I have to go ahead and fasten that wall to the beam. So I'm going ahead and building the top plate back again. morning welcome back today I am running around here just uh, trying to catch up on little things that got left behind when I was quickly moving from one big piece to the next big piece of the build one of the things that has to be done is that all of the windows have to be framed out so it's fairly repetitive the sizes are all the same we're going through this main room and getting all the windows framed out and hopefully we can get that done by early afternoon and move on to something else. I don't remember who came up with the idea or where I heard it, but somebody suggested to me that I use the planer to trim the boards to fit into the windows, and it certainly works a lot faster. So whoever you were, thank you for that great idea. As I was trimming out the far right edge of the window, I noticed something wasn't quite right. Got the level and checked it out. And the window was just slightly out of plumb, only on one skin. This is one of the few errors that I've found in the panel company. But it was one of those things that you need to take notice of while you're doing it so that you can correct it later on. Yeah. 
That is the problem. That doesn't sound good. It sounds. Sick. It sounds. Uh, what? Yeah. I hope we're not about to lose it. Oh, that sounds bad. Is the compressor or the generator? Wherever they can build a home, they put. Yeah. It may not be the source of the <laughs> unusual noises the generator is making, but we opened it up to take a look and found a massive mouse nest trail? inside of it. While pulling it out, I discovered a wire that had either been chewed through or perhaps I even pulled it with the screwdriver when I was taking the nesting material out of there. The other generator works. Yeah, okay. we may have to go get it. That's a huge nest. Yep. Condo. <laughs> Condo. <laughs> With its own playground. Oh my gosh. Yep. Up. Yep. I'm thinking. There's a wire chewed in half in here. There's that. That's a okay. problem. But either way, when we tried to fire the generator back up, it did not sound healthy. Instead of trying to run it and see what would happen, which usually results in just damaging it more, we opted to set it aside, go back home, okay. get our backup generator, and bring it out here so we could finish work. Let's get the wood off the Well. We only lost about an hour going back and swapping out the generator for the other one. And hopefully it'll start.
last one on the back side, we still have seven, I'm sorry, eight in the front that have to be done. Oh, I forgot about that middle one. I didn't get enough wood. I've got one of these windows in the front done, so now I gotta do the rest of them. Don't think I'm gonna get it all done today, but I can probably get all the ones on the lower section done today. I didn't get all the windows done. I got four of them left up top. Should be able to knock those out in the first two hours that we're here tomorrow. So we'll get that finished and we'll jump back on the tie back. Good morning. It is a beautiful day out here on the build today. We've got four more windows at the top to frame in, and then we're gonna turn our attention to putting up some more of the tie back. Since it is so high up and I'm on a ladder, my efficiency at it has been cut down dramatically and I expect it to take me a bit longer than it did on the ones at the bottom. You see that magnificent spider's web right there. Looks like he uh, had dinner, he or she had dinner of a stink bug last night. Gotta eat what you gotta eat. But I'm gonna pull this cart over, we're gonna get busy on this probably gonna have to evict that spider so I can frame in that window.
Not bad for a rank amateur. Got all five of the top windows framed in. I've got every window in the house framed in. Take a break, have some lunch, start putting up some Tyvek. We went around and we sealed all the seams of the panels so that there will be no air infiltration. And what that does is it helps to prevent condensation from warm air and cool air meeting in the summertime and in the wintertime. That creates condensation and those pockets of water start rot. So having everything sealed up is gonna go a long way to using less energy and having a better structure, stronger structure that lasts longer. Well, I thought we had enough Tyvek to go ahead and finish the front, but we don't. We're cleaning a few things up and getting ready. We're gonna go home, come back and hit this thing again the next chance we get. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Come on back and check us out again at Break Hard Orchard. We'll see you then.